How old is your son? The the one that he's, was the baby boy? He's 22 now. Did you ever have a moment with him now that he's an adult where you, you thanked him for getting you out of that hole? Oh, yeah. Oh, I've told him a bunch of times. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, just last night, you know, uh, you know, I just... Just gonna let you know your old man loves you. <laughs> you know, you yeah, know what I mean. Yeah. I take because he's up at school now. Um, but yeah, no, I, I've you know I have, he, I have a number take, of times. Does he take pride in that, or is it just like a I, I just exist? I, you know what dad, I mean. Like, I mean, I he's. I'll say this. I think as they get older, I think they become. They start to appreciate. They're, they're right now in the stage. Both him and my daughter were against because now so much stuff is coming out. You know what I mean. There's uh, you see documentaries and and. And so now it's more the, because they've been raised by a really pretty, you know, Christian conservative dad. And, yeah. you know, but now they've seen so much stuff and they're like, dad. <laughs> you know what You're I mean? You're an like, animal. Dad, you were really <laughs> out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, like I said, I'm starting to, it's in a good way because I've got over here, I've got the sort of like the dad quality where it's like, again, where it's like all the dads. Like, you know, I know yes, dad, I'm, you know, do right, you know. Say, you say your pairs, eat your vitamins, all yeah, that kind of stuff. I get it. But now I'm getting some of that cool factor standpoint where they go <laughs> nice. like, dude, you did. You yeah. know what I mean? You were once. You know what I mean? Because it's hard to look at your dad that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? And to know that like, dude, you were off your rocker. No, for time. sure. Oh my for goodness. sure. You know what I mean? That, I, I so, had a conversation with my, I've, I know exactly what you mean. My my dad, my whole life was, uh, you know, my dad. You yeah. Know, dad tendencies. Then one night, uh, I think, about a year and a half ago, we were at a dinner table and me and Jake were sitting there like asking him now as adults, like an adult talking to an adult right. about the past. And I was hearing some of the stories that my dad had had, had done. And I mean, you probably could have guessed this, but Greg Paul was a menace I'm sure. back in the day. I, you I, don't I, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What makes you think he's wait, not a menace wait, now? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but, 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 but let me tell you something that's really interesting for, for parents out there who are are. are finding out that it's probably the hardest job in the world. Here's a little piece of advice or, or a story. Take what you want with it. The stories that he was telling me were the were and Jake was at the table to my brother. Um, Jake had heard before. He told them to Jake when he was in high school and he didn't tell them to me. I was the straight A student. I didn't drink till I was 18 years old. I was like a good kid wrestling academics sports that like I was focused and Jake is the problem child he was stealing iPhones he he, he 1.6 GPA like like it's high I, well, no it's not he was he <laughs> was you. And, 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 and I, I I always wonder if it's because like my dad told him the stories of what he was doing as a youth when he was a hooligan and my brother maybe tried to emulate right. what, his, what his old man did yeah. I didn't hear those stories until I was an adult I didn't know my my dad was a fucking troublemaker like 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 to the 10th degree and so i i just wanted to be the best you know son i could and so it's it is interesting well that's the thing you do wonder the whole time like i don't know what's what's what you know it's the best to be honest with them yeah right or, you know what i mean or do not nah, lie or, bro the no, we, <laughs> the well look way. Say we lie, not but it's you like, you know, they, you, we, you, we just never said anything really and thankfully again when i was wrestling they were young um, and, and since they've gotten older, again, we've, we've done a good job. The business has not completely saturated every bit of our life. You know what I mean? So their dad does this for a living, but that's never been, they've never been crazy into it, wanted to be in the back. And all that. My daughter just now starts coming to, to this because she's interested in the makeup stuff. Uh. My son's never had, you know, any interest in it, you know? Um, so again, you don't, you know, you can sort of stay away from, the conversations, but like I said, now it's sort of a different with again the documentaries and so much stuff has come up that I've you know it's gotten back out there. So it's been a sort of a another phase of it, but they're older. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, so exactly. Now, they develop now. Yeah, like so I, now you can be, aren't yeah, gonna change exactly. Completely. That's what I'm saying. You can begin to open it up, and and like I said, they, you know, I think we've got the foundational stuff in there pretty secure. So hopefully, most of what they see and they hear now, what doesn't, you know, doesn't. Uh, you know, to, to tip them off their rocker. Hey there, if you like the clip, make sure to subscribe or check out this recommended clip to my right.